Oh, I just saw one of the uh, Halisi band members. I cannot wait for you guys to see his outfit. I don't know if you saw it really well. I gave him the outfit. I just wanted to say it right now. He asked me. It was last minute. He was like, Mazis like Chakuba. And then I hooked him up. So you'll see what that outfit is in a minute. Right now, though, I'm so excited. I'm super excited. Nana Gishaga in studio. Is. This is super cool. I'm so happy that you're, you're here. And thank you for having me. Thank you for staying with us till one. <laughs> It's so oh, good. What it's a, a show. Friday night. So. What a day. How was your day? It was good. It was good. It was um, finishing up. Because yeah. obviously Monday's a holiday, so as government Yay. we don't have to work, so, <laughs> which, is, which is good. And um, yeah, I got to sing a lot today, yeah. so I brought my sing-alongs back and went saw the kids and then, um, yeah, and came, then you came here I am. Yeah. So do you sing along with the kids too? <coughs> or you sing along 24-7? Um, I do. I mean, sometimes you know, I'll be doing it and then they come in and they're like, Mama, I'm just like, okay, get in here and do that. So yeah, but I'm um, not always. I try to kind of keep my kids off social media as much as possible. So. Yeah. <coughs> this is sorry. So sorry, we need to have some yes. water for Nana. Oh, no, but no, it's no. so good to have you on the show. Yes, you know, with um, I, I think a lot of the different angles with which we could talk about you, your life, you know, just battling addiction, be, being a single mom, it's being a female CEO, yes. and you know, just. Fighting KOT <laughs> <laughs> at the start of your job. Now, that must have been really tough. So now let's start from back in the day. Let's start from back in the day. Yeah. So you, where did you grow up? <coughs> here. I grew up here mm -hmm. until I was seven. Mm -hmm. Then I went off to boarding school in England. Mm -hmm. After that, I went to high school in Massachusetts. Um, then came back to university in, well, university in Baltimore. Um, then after that, I took a break, went to rehab. Um, came back, went to... You can't just skip right straight in, in, into, into the rehab bit. So, but where... Yes, you, of course. So you were in uni? That, yes, at uni. Uh -huh. Just before I was just... Actually, I had gone in my first year of university. Total disaster. Um, Why was it a disaster? Because I flunked out. I mean, I wasn't, okay. I wasn't studying. I was you know, oh, partying and all of that. Then I uh, did the choice at age 21 to go to rehab. Obviously, with support of family and friends. And 20 years later, Here would we have are. thought... <laughs> you know, the place I used to go as a child when I was good to Tintin for uh, KICC, I'm now running it. It's, it's crazy. It is absolutely it's crazy. crazy. So, yes. what, I mean, you know, a lot of people, at 21, were you, you know, going to now, tell me about that whole story. I yes. mean, so how, how did you get into it? Was it, it was alcohol, yeah? Alcohol, yes. And yes, yes. peer pressure? No, I mean, I think it's just a release. You know, people have different ways of um, uh, handling stress or battling it. And, and you know, addiction... Um, especially even at that time, and uh, a lot of people don't even realize um, how quickly it can spiral out, you know. So that's what happened. I mean, one day it's becoming social, the next day it's your crutch, you know. And uh, was there like an intervention or were you were just the one who saw, okay, you know what? Yeah, it's a time out now. So I went to, um, went to rehab. Yeah. What had happened? What was the situation? There's always a situation. There is, but I mean, I think it was more of just, you know, just getting into that vicious cycle. You know, you want more with your life. Every day you're getting up, you're doing the same kind of thing. You're just like, gosh, you know, this is a, a bit of a waste. And, and you know, it had taken to get to that point, um, it had been like maybe a good year, a year and a half with friends, you know, and, and family, especially just, you know, saying, you know, come on, you know, recognizing it and, and saying, you know, just let's, let's try and help. But um, you have to really want to go to rehab, you know, and, and that's one thing that is, is the first step, mm. you know. And... Um, yeah, I've I've never looked back. It was July fourth, and um, and here you are, twenty best, years. Best later. thing ever. Yes, here I am, twenty years later, forty-one years old, got three fantastic kids, um, uh, in a job that you know I I absolutely love. Um, I, I love giving back to my country, so that's mm. that's something with that. And also, it was a blank canvas, really, KCC. Yes. So. Um, I'm, I feel extremely blessed. Yes. Yeah. Here, to, to now just start the journey. It's so weird now, today when people hear KICC, yes. the first thing they're always like, oh, but you know what it's shaped like, oh, but you know what it was yes. the inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true? So it's true? Um, gosh, you know. Uh, How awkward was it for you when you were like, that's what you wanted to share you know it's like that's a lot of the pr machinery is going to be working overnight tonight but um you know if that's what the architect says it's it's there and um you know it's i really don't know <laughs> i know it was so wide moment so here we are, so you you get it and you you know you get this huge post and yes um but i was working in government before 
Which I think a lot of people didn't know. Yes, they didn't. They didn't. I was more behind the scenes. I was with uh, tourism. I've always loved tourism. I've always loved marketing the country. So I was marketing advisor to uh, CS Candy at the time. Um, I'd come through KICC as uh, head of marketing and got seconded across. And um, yes, you know, went back up these stairs and um, came in as acting. And, and I have to say, you know, it was a, a change was really needed. And um, you know, the support of, of definitely, of course, my, my uh, minister yes. and uh, cabinet secretary, uh, CS Balala, and of course, um, and the board. Mm. Um, they really took a chance on me because, you know, it's somebody young. I don't know if, if it's even, I don't know if I am the youngest woman in, in government as a CEO. I, we need to check on that. But um, definitely, you know, that kind of thing. But, you know, it's, it's I think I'm actually living proof that um, you, you can actually break um, people's conception of, of, of something, mm -hmm. and also um, just by putting your best foot forward. Yeah. You know, don't don't let um, people hold you back and think, hey, you know, um, you show what you've got, you know, um, with, with that. And that's what I'm an, a real fighter for, you know, so I'm, I'm a very unconventional CEO. Yeah, <laughs> very unconventional. So unconventional, in fact, that she has team five minutes? Yes. What is that? Yeah. Where did it start? Where did it come from? Um, well, I was uh, hanging out with one of my friends, uh, Mina, as you know, and he just was like, you know, you really, um, you don't let people get to see you who you really are, you know, and I just was like, oh, but you I know. just said that right before this exactly, interview. Exactly. Like this and Nana, I don't even know who this Nana is. <laughs> I'm like, people need to see you off camera, but go on. No, exactly. So it was just, um, yeah. You know, and then f taking it from there, it was, well, Team 5 Minutes is the first five minutes in the morning when your alarm goes off. Do you hit the alarm and mm -hmm. sleep or do you get up? Now, if you hit the alarm and sleep, it's just going to be a spiral of a day. You're going to get up probably late. You're chasing the day. You're feeling awful about yourself, all of that. But Team 5 Minutes, we hit that alarm. We get up. We go. By the time you're in the shower... You don't even miss it. Yeah. So that's what that's how team minute team five minutes started. For the people who've never watched it, so here 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 is Nana. <laughs> Was team it me in my robe? Well done. Here I stand. I know I walked away. Had to find the person I become. You should go back home. Go back home. Go back home. That you don't make it look like you have to be this sort of way for you to be a CEO. You know, it's almost like, oh, you, I don't enjoy my some music. Because it's very static almost. It, it looks just not as interesting to a lot of people. You know what I mean? To a lot yeah. of young no, people of course, as well. And I think it's also how you, it's the, it's the perception and how you make it. You know, I mean, I'm an extremely hard worker, um, first and foremost. You know, when I first came in there, um, I'd be getting into the office at about 5 o'clock in the morning and leave at about 1 o'clock. Mm. So that was how I spent my first nine months at KICC. You know, really just holding it down, you know, with that. But I mean, even from there, it's just who you see actually on my Instagram page or, or anything like that. It's, it's actually me, you know. Um, music determines, it sets my mood, it sets the tone. But then again, also again, uh, you also then see me at work, mm. you know, the different um, uh, partnerships. I think you've actually been able to see the last three years, the journey. Uh, of, of uh, the change of KICC, you know, mm. it's interaction with the, with the ministry, the cabinet secretary, definitely my board, of course the staff. Um, and I think it's just the whole thing about demystifying because KICC, again, the staff are very young. People don't think that. They think, you know, what goes on in this stuffy old building, you know, always using the word Sirakali, Sirakali, this, that. But um, we've, we've got a really young, you know, the average age is probably about 35 years, yeah. years old. So it's know, very which young. Is, it's, it's great. You know, and um, and it's it's also really good just to see um, everybody just now, because uh, also when I arrived at KCC, it was in a really bad state. Obviously, you know, a lot of uh, with the cartels, a lot of just um, uh, bad things happening. So, and the staff are really demoralized. Mm. So um, that really um, uh, got to me, you know, um, and uh, so really we've been working hard to, to to you know with with the staff, and it's it's amazing on any given day. I mean, we need our own reality show at KCC because we also yeah, is that fun? are a tenant. Like the office. I mean, with the Just office. Yours. And also, again, <laughs> because we also house 90% of the National Assembly. 
So everybody's arriving every day, you know, with, with how they enter, you know, with their constituents also there looking for them and, and everything. Then you've got the major events that are taking place. We have All an event the time. Every day. Yes. In fact, let's talk about that because yes. you did really turn around the face of KICC. And not only did we start hosting a lot of these international events that ne or conferences that never used to take place here. These are regional and international events. Yes. Not only that, but then we also started collaborating a lot with, you know, the creative industry mm -hmm. and started giving them the space. So there's... A lot more that's been happening. Touch on yes. that, please. Yes, um, I mean, I think I've always liked the arts. Um, you know, I used we to can be, tell. <laughs> I know you can tell, and I also used to be a DJ at Pavement hey. back in the day. Um, <laughs> but again, it's it's something that I think that, that used to get look, overlooked a lot. But um, yeah, the strategic partnerships. First thing was at KICC was coming in and um, getting to the brand back. You know, so that was now the strategic part was partnering. So partnering with different event organizers to bring the event to KICC. Um, so that was phase one. Then uh, phase two was now coming up and creating our own other events. Um, so that's why we had, like, you know, the World Cup viewing, um, a lot of the local talent and having local content uh, concerts also again. Um, and then the next part now is uh, trying to now create um, new revenue streams with that. Mm -hmm. But um, like I said, we've got the space and we also do the mini gallery over there. You know, we've got, uh, somebody had messaged me on Instagram and said, you know, I'm an artist, I really need your help. And I said, look, you know, instead of actually trying to find your space or go down, why not? Um, we had just now gutted out half of the uh, first floor mm -hmm. and it's a gallery in itself. So why not give them that space? So every two weeks you can come in free of charge. Uh, we help market you, you also market yourself and it's providing a platform. Because we have about, um, when, we, when I first got there, we were having about 1,000 people a week coming. And now we've got over 5,000 people. This is just to the helipad. This is not the day-to-day -day events. So with, with, with that, so. Wow, that's yeah, impressive. Yeah. And I said, last time we met, you had not done the, I told you there's a KICC picture everyone has to. If you're Kenyan. Yes, I do. If you're Kenyan, <laughs> there is this KICC picture. You have to have taken it at Uhuru Park. It happens. I don't know why I have. How yes. do you not have it? We have to take that picture. I do have, have one. To. Oh, now you have it. I, I do. Because I, the last <laughs> time when you said it, I didn't have it. So I was just like, you know, get the camera. Let's go. Let's and, go do this. You can actually do it KCC. at KICC. We're in the middle of um, doing refurbishment on the driveway. So it's actually the place where you go. It's, it's, a, it's actually um, got some abatinas uh, boarded up right now. But mm -hmm. in the next month, that place will be done. But where you can do it and you can yeah. point and yeah. And do your thing. Sit, stand. <laughs> hold it exactly. in a tiny little thing and you yes. do all this while being a single mom like yes that's yeah, crazy yeah. you have three kids three how kids. old are they three boys udi is uh six jomo is four will be four in two weeks time and uh kenya huru will be two in september so wow yeah nana no, no. six four and two yeah. wow <laughs> what yeah wow so it's <laughs> <laughs> what it's, yeah, so you're just like stop you stop it's with that and also have a, a lot of support and you know very very good uh, support with that and also again with technology yeah so um unfortunately you know i've um you know maybe uh with with jomo his first step was on video um with, with uh, kenya as well um but tried to be there for that but that's you know it's, it's nothing unique mm -hmm. you know sometimes we miss our uh, baby's first steps or something like that but uh, at least with technology they're able to capture it but again i every day it's a report coming in. They're, they're awake, they're having breakfast, they're off to school, pictures are taken, all of that. So it's, it's the next best thing. Mm. And of course, when the weekend comes, it's... It's full on mom weekend, mood. Yeah, we, we can hang here. out. And, yeah, yeah, so and even just going by the names of the kids. And you know, if you, if you, if you follow Nana on social media, or if you've attended an event, Nana wears the flag. I don't even know if that's legal. <laughs> like, she wears <laughs> all that. It has to have the Kenyan colors, right? The, the flag colors, yes. it, red, black, gray, she, right? Yeah. And this I isn't a lie. Kenya. This is almost every event. And, you know, we, a lot of people, say, oh, you know, we all love our country and we're all very proud of yes. being Kenyan. However, you take your love way too deep. Isn't that yeah. true? No, it is. Now that you've said it, like, it is, it is, yeah. Do people point it out? They do. I mean, they're just like, you know, if... Even, because also how I started, because before getting into uh, government, I had my own company. It was Bora Bora and we were doing, that's so how we did the Mamas, the MTV Awards, and also, um, well, still with the concierge and helping celebrities come in and market Kenya outside. And, um, you know, people would just be like, Miss Kenya, Miss Kenya, you know, all the time. It, you always talk about your country. Ah. They're like, um, I just was like, but of course, it's the best place on earth. You know, and it really is. But um, I really do. I, I, I love our country. We are 
strategically positioned. We are, we've got a lot going for us. Mm. Um, we, we just need to, I know it gets hard sometimes and you know, people sometimes are like, you know, um, they feel a bit downtrodden or with that, but um, it's, it, it's home. So it is. we just got to make the best of it. And, yeah. And uh, anyone that's willing to listen, talk about it. But yes, you're right. If I, if I, if How you cut you me, I would, I would bleed. I would, um, you know, red, green, green <laughs> black, and white. would no, be just coming me. out, you know. But in fact, yeah, with the, with the Kenya tattoo, I didn't. You didn't think about that, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. What, is that, is, <laughs> what is this I'm hearing about you becoming a politician? You're hearing? Yes. Vying? No. No? No, 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 no. no. Gosh, no. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm, I'm still CEO of KICC. It's still, um, no. The, uh, no, no, not now, but like, you know, in, in future. In future, I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, it's, um, I'm really happy where I am. I'm finishing up my first term, got another term. Um, and I guess we just see. Yeah. You know, uh, next thing you might, I don't know. I've always wanted to have my own TV show. I've always, actually, that was my first love was um, uh, th like that, you know, TV show, the whole Oprah type of thing. Um, oh, what would you talk about? What would be some of the It's like a lifestyle. I mean, okay. I think it's also more of an empowerment, mm -hmm. um, you know, trying to change, uh, getting out there, you know. Um, I think definitely, uh, you know, a lot of the things that are happening now, you know, we've got like the Huduma Center, we've got all of these fantastic initiatives and incentives for, for, for Kenyans, but actually going in there and, and following the process. Mm. You know, because I think a lot of times, you know, even with, um, you know, with Haduma and, you know, being people uh, being able to come together, tap in, mm -hmm. get get access to government funding for um, startups. But it's it's the know how, mm. you know, so just kind of demystifying that, you know, so like a behind the scenes on, you know, sort of a thing. Did you know, you know, you could do this or did you know you could do that? And mm. um, yeah, I also like to, you know, go out to eat and so be a whole rounded type of show uh, yeah okay I see yeah, that so. in fact speaking about did you know so did you know yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. you don't like shopping for clothes no I ain't never heard about that I but I hate it you I, hate it I hate I hate this you know someone was to call and be like let's go spend the day shopping you're like mm -hmm. <laughs> you know I'm just be like but it's for clothes though you know so again I'm the sort of person where I like to go online pick everything uh, get the codes walk in say where's your manager here's the list I'm sitting right here we're good to go mm -hmm. um, now, but if it's uh, you know shopping for cars, not that I shop for cars, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> then please, that would be different. Please don't uh, you know Can you think imagine? that. But um, <laughs> but it was kind of I like that kind of stuff, you know, or house stuff. But like last week we had our show live at Westgate, and they had this car show. Yes, and then so they had all of these vehicles yes. just yeah, to yeah. dream. <sighs> so I nice. love I love the G wagons. Have you heard that thing? I love the G wagons. When they, they that's they my dream car. Go, that's my dream car. So too. so you don't have it, Nana. I don't have it, no. But you could buy it, though. See, that's the difference. I'm, I'm like, trying to get there. There's a huge difference. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get there. So you were probably the first DJ in this country, let's just say. Yes, but it was also very, well, no, no. I mean, so that, that's how um, we get you on DJ the next, Styles you? and I really okay. became good friends because he kind of taught me how to do all of that. But it was more of a, you know, I love music. So every summer or every holiday before I'd go back to, to uni or to high school or to school, whether well, when pavement was around, um, you know, Take it over, shut it down, have all my friends come. Oh, that's nice. And and DJ, so <laughs> and have and a good time. Yeah, yeah. You what do you do that's for nice. your friends? Eh? <laughs> Bogi, yaki monyonski, mnakwanga happy. All right. So now, um, you and and I already said this about how much you love your country. Yes. But you love to play football, and you love. I love I love soccer. Yeah, football. So I played it in in uh, high school and university. I was right uh, well right wing, so with my speed I could you know, kick the ball to myself, so kick mm -hmm. it, run around them, intercept it, and go. Mm -hmm. So with that, and I'm actually wanting to even start a, we should actually pick, do a, 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 you know, teams. We should. Where we all get together and play against each other and, and do it for charity. That's we, one thing I've always really wanted to do. So I think we should, why not? If you're up for it, I think we need to. We should, right now, well, why not? Well, the two not? teams are right here. Let's do that, Four more teams. Team. We've the got rest the of pitch. the 10 players need to be KICC really good. KICC is there. Right. And it's open and really make a, a thing of it yeah. and, and raise money. And you're actually really big on charity. I'm extremely big on it, yes. Yeah, yeah. What are some of the charities that you support? Um, well, I mean, it depends really. It's kids, women, 
and youth, mm. you know. But again, with the kids, um, a, a lot of the times I used to, with every birthday party I have, um, I always raise money, raise funds, and, and do that. So in the past, we've I've raised money, and we've done it for Beyond Zero. We've raised money for another time for the children at uh, Kenyatta Hospital. Um, so we raised the money, then went in, didn't mm. say anything, mm. asked for the bills, cleared the bills, and and walk out. It's, mm. It shouldn't. It's not about you know all of all of that kind of stuff. Uh, my dream is to have a foundation. Mm. Um, you know, it's Actually, you were supposed to start the foundation when you turned 40, right? 41 this okay. year. Okay, all right. We didn't do the party, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're going to start the foundation? <laughs> yes, I'd like to. I mean, this is the, you know, within a, a year. So hopefully by next year, if I have a, for 42, yeah. um, you know, all white party and we, we do it. But it's, it's, it's to, um, you know, it's, it's to help the women, you mm. know, and, and the youth and the kids. And also, um, uh, again, I'd like to also do a state-of-the-art rehabilitation center. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I like so, that. Really uh, it's, it's changed my life. I'm living proof. Mm. So um, if you can help other, other people. Why not? Mind, yeah. Why Have you ever struggled with mental health? Have I? Ever struggled with mental health? No. Um, fortunately, I've not. I mean, of course, everyone goes through depression. Everyone's sad, all of that. But no. But for me, it's been... But I said the, the one I want to open is for the rehabilitation for mm -hmm. alcohol, all of that. But of course, it can come hand in hand. Um, and if you let it go, yes. you know so. Yeah. That is true. What do you want to be remembered for, Nana? When it's all said and done. <sighs> when it's all said and, you've and done. Sung, and and people have sung. been part of Team 5 Minutes. And KCC and we're having is a party at my all white, uh, you know, at, at, at the <laughs> funeral and everything. Um, somebody who has a voice, somebody that was uh, who has a voice, somebody that um, you know was uh, went against the grain, the underdog in so many ways, um, but a, a game changer, but in in their specific way. Mm -hmm. So um, again, like I said, uh, you've seen KICC. With, with that, anything else I've touched, but somebody who I would like to be remembered for um, whatever I put my heart to, mm. um, it's, it's, it, it excelled mm. with, with that. And yeah. um, of course, a fantastic mother and a good friend. There you yeah. go. <laughs> you know, the big takeaway for me is that if you're watching this and you're 21, or if you're watching this and you're at a place in your life where you feel like you're not doing your best and you feel like things are just not working out, when she was 21, yeah. she was probably at rock bottom. I was. And no yeah. one could have figured out that in 20 years, mm -hmm. she's going to be leading one of you know, the, the biggest pirate state tours that we've got in yeah. the country and doing a damn good job while thank she's you. at it. Gosh, well you. done, Nana. Thank, thank you. you so much for coming on to the show, man. Thank You're you such so a, much. A huge for inspiration. Having me. What do you and want to tell you. people? Your final putting shot. As you even said, you know, um, it's true. At age 21, you, your life is just beginning. Um, and, and don't beat yourself up about it. Don't think that you have all the questions or uh, know all the answers. And um, what I always say is hi which is hard work and integrity. With that, you can do anything. You can go anywhere and you can be anybody. So um, just because you don't have your stuff sorted out now, at any age, don't freak out, don't panic about it. Um, but get up in the morning, do your best, um, and be true to yourself. And the rest should fall into to place. There you go. Dream big. Yes, really? Madam CEO, baby. Yes. All right, so we've got, um, uh, all right, so what do we got? I actually don't know what we have. I just finished the interview. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hashtag, hey, Amina, at the Trend Live, we're going to the next item. Arnold, take, oh, okay, fine. He's not called, he's called General, all right? He's called General. <laughs> General's on the other side. General, what are people saying online? Hey, Amina, nakwabia hapa pamewaka moto. Your conversation with Nana is on top. Na kwa bia wa Kenya wame react and they are reacting in a good way. Kwa sababu, uh, I can see so many tweets coming in. Kuna MC Shamro anasema, hey Amina, I wanted to ask things that inspires her. Kwa hivyo tu utaangalia hiyo. And then we have uh, Donna Africa Photography said, I have seen her off camera at KICC planning for events. Kwa hivyo ni mteda kazi. Na bila shaka tuko na James Mwagi. Anasema, what keeps you going, boss lady? What drives you as a person? Na tuko na maswali ni migi. He, he, red head boy. Anasema, nana amesimama kama KICC. So, mimi swali yagu iko hapa. Red head boy. He, cheza ligi yako, my brother. Kwanza afford Saron. Haya. Na kinyosi. Tuko na mwigine hapa. Kraf anasema, somebody's daughter. <laughs> Somebody's daughter got me like to emoji. 
to emoji. I think you look 16 in this interview. And of course, I don't know. Kwa watu wawili watatu ambao wako na opinion sao. Tuko na Deni. Deni anasema I have been trying to book an appointment with okay. Nana for a really long time till I gave up. Made me wonder, do I really need to be rich and famous to get an, op uh, an appointment with Nana? Huyo sijui ni tamuabia aje, lakini Nana ako hapa. Yes. Yeah. You know, but um, even like today, I mean, there's someone who went on my DM and was like, hey, you know, I need this. I actually called them. I think they got shocked. They dropped the phone. <laughs> um, then he called me back and with that. But no, it's, it's not about race. It's not about how much money you have. Um, just talk about what it is you want to, what, what the appointment is about, you know. But um, please don't, uh, for once, for at all, do not think it's, um, it's, a, it's a hierarchy thing or anything like that. Mm. Um, I'm just... When you go from the block, mm -hmm. you know, literally, you can, you can yeah. By the way, so but um, please get that out of your head. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. Thank all right, you. all right. Now we've officially we finished music. the interview. Now we have. All right. So over to the other side. We got some music going. We're gonna sit down. We're gonna talk. This is the trend. Let's go.